1987 for creating this lovable Bigfoot from the movie Harry and the Hendersons. They do normal type makeup work where I glue stuff on a person's face and, and, and that had its limitations so it evolved into things like Harry here which is a, a radio controlled mask which is designed to actually fit the actor's eyes going there uh, and it blends onto his face. In the top of Harry's head here, in between the space where the actor's head ends and, the, and Harry's head ends are the radio controlled servo motors which activate the face and this is what controls it here, this, these joysticks that are in here. And I'll turn it this on and I'll turn the battery on on Harry there and he jumps into a, an expression here. So with these things I can move the lips and get all kinds of expressions and there's different keypads that I get to get the brows to move. This is where he's real sad. He's very sad a lot. Can you, along? Mm. you can be kind of mean, kind of growl from side to side here like this. Mm. These joysticks here are, these four joysticks operate the lips, this being the upper lip, these two being the upper lip, and this being the lower lip here. These little brass pads here change the brow expression which is something that enabled us to have one operator control an entire face, where in the film it was three puppeteers. And we can make a sad face with that. And can get meaner this way. It's fun because, it, it, as you can see, his head's pretty big. It's about as big as my torso, you know. And as a, as a rubber appliance, you, you just could not move it and, and, and get the expressions that we can get with a articulated mask like this.